How's it going, everyone? I am China Connor, aka the Human Lost City Samurats, presenting to you today a battle video versus the Akara City Enders. Thank you for coming to this video. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more battles from the Indigo League of Legends and other Wi-Fi battles as I will be posting on this channel of mine. Alright, so, the Human Law City Samurots. This team is not perfect. I, I will admit that right now. When we get the draft, I chose the more weaker Pokemon because they, my other rivals, say Necrocevo that I'm facing today, pick some very powerful Pokemon, which if I, if I were to choose them, I would probably have a much better time. In my battles, I went, well, this is week three, okay, so it's week three, and I battled this person who swept, I think it was Kushai. Kushai destroyed me with a Charizard X and Skull Peak Speed Boost and Baton Pass combination. That was so bad. I didn't want to post it. Week 2 was an opponent that forfeited the league, so he gave me the win, which means I couldn't upload that battle because I haven't had it for crying out loud. And then this is week 3. And this is what I have here. Samurai with a Focus Sash, which I can go with a different item that times, but this one is Focus Sash. Then Choice Specs Ryko or Choice Scarf. Which one is it? You think for a second and you'll see it in this battle. Okay, it's Choice Scarf. I, I screwed up. My bad. I probably shouldn't have let you guys decide on that, but it's Choice Scarf, okay? Good. And then we have the typical Kong Helder with the bulk up Grain Punch, Ice Punch, and Stone Edge. Assault Vest, a Scavalier? Wait, no. Assault Vest, Gudra. I can go with either one of those guys. That is an honest opinion there. I could go with either one. But the Guga is carrying the Assault Vest. For a Scavalier, it's Choice Band. I will alternate between those two items there. Last but not least, we have Spear Tomb. So all together, we have a couple of things weak to Fairy. And we look at my opponent's side, there's a Clefable there. Aside from Clefable, we have Zapdos. Zapdos being very bulky and such. Having the Heat Wave and Thunderbolt, Roost, Tailwind, Venusaur, Mega, maybe, we'll find out. Mammal Swine with Ice Shark, Icicle Crash, maybe Icicle Spear, and then Mega Pinsir. Mega Pinsir could be an option for a Mega from my opponent here, and then Bush Sharp with Sucker Punch, Stealth Rock, I don't know. But that is the lineup for my first battle on my channel. Welcome to the Indigo League of Legends. Let's begin the battle in which I really hope I win because if I lose, I'll be going down in the standings. Starting off this, we have Samrat versus Bisharp Sephiroth. Now, I expect him to go for Stealth Ox, or in this case, I actually predicted to switch into Venusaur. I go for Taunt, and that is fantastic, alright? So this is fantastic. That means that he cannot set up the sun, he cannot sleep power me. All he can do is go for a Giga Drain. I could have gone into my Guga right here, because I have Sap Sipper on that Guga of mine, but it was kind of obvious, I guess, and here I made the right prediction by going for a Pursuit. And I catch the Venusaur. Here comes Zapdos, and Zapdos has the Heat Wave, like I mentioned. So, going into Gudra, who has the Ice Beam, may have an 
opportunity here to take care of Zapdos if it's not especially defensive. Look at that, that did nothing. And that's the power of having the Assault Vest behind it. Now, I was really surprised that he went for Thunder Wave because Guga isn't that fast. Maybe he was there to stall me out with the paralysis, I guess. And here we have Leftovers. Good confirmation there because that means that the Zapdos is a little bit more bulky. And I faced the Sturm before. I know what to expect. Here comes Maple. Maple, uh, before I went for Dragon Pulse, so why not go for an Ice Beam knowing that there's a Clefable coming in. I expected him to predict me to switch out, and that is why I stayed in. It's like making that great prediction, but then I get paralyzed. That is unfortunate. My second option is to go back into a Scavalier. This is where things get real, okay? And this is where I get really upset. This is going to cost me the game. I want to scare the Clefable out, but he shows me the flamethrower. At this point, I have nothing for the Clefable. Now, does that mean that my opponent is going to win? Definitely not. I have my Raikou here, which I could get hit by a Moonblast at plus one. That will not take me out, but it's like, well, he has Moonlight anyway, and at this point, it's really good game. I was really frustrated at this point because I knew, like, I've, I've known this Maple since I've watched Necro Steve's channel for such a long while there, and it's just, I never expected him to have flamethrower, and that's the only way for me to take care of Maple is to have a Scavalier around. But I lost him, and I also lose my Raikou. And I go into Kung Kilger thinking I can outspeed this thing, and I'm like, what? This thing outspeeds my Kung Kilger as well, and, and this is a crit. Whatever, I, I'm speechless. I, I'm, I'm really speechless right now. I, I I have nothing really. I go for taunt, expecting the moonlight again, and I call that right. And I go for surf. Maybe I should have gone to that initially, but that was neither here nor there. And he's going to finish me off with another moon blast here, barely. But I lose my special attack. That's not going to make a huge difference because I'm going to take out Maple anyway, and that took forever. So Maple, yeah, okay, my cave is a lot very weak there, but that's, that's just me and my random selections of Pokemon during the draft. But guess what? I'm going to switch out Spirit Tomb for something else later this week. So we'll see how this works. I go in the Spirit Tomb now, so that way I can dodge the Quick Attack. Maybe, but yeah. But then I forget about his ability in the form of Aerial 8. I don't know why I am losing like this, guys. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous stuff, so... I lost four Pokemon at this point. I have two left. One being Guja. So Guja, I, I honestly don't know what to do at this point with Guja hitting. Like, I have Flamethrower and Ice Beam to hit Pinsir. Yeah, but will that be enough? Well, I, I don't know because I get paralyzed again. Well, that sucks. I would love it if I hit the Sturm. And Necro Stevo is doing this to be nice, I guess, going for Thunderbolt instead of like going for whatever move that would be appropriate, maybe Heat Wave, but that wasn't very effective. He could have gone into something else, but he's being nice right now, so I'll take that. And I get paralyzed several turns, except for this turn. I go for Ice Beam. He was defiling his Sturm anyway, so that. That worked out for me, I guess, but you know what? At this point, it's just good game because I don't have anything for Mammoth Swine. If I, if I do, in this case, fight thrower, then the thick fat is going to just cut that damage in half. And there you go. My last Pokemon is Samurai. 
and Ice Shark's going to kill me off. So, I think I'm going to go legal questions. I fall one win and two losses, and my guy Steve-O, he's got three wins and zero losses. There you go, guys. That is my first battle from the Indigo League of Legends. What do you guys think of that battle? What do you think I should have done to make this battle even more interesting? Because let me tell you, I I did pretty well at the beginning, not going to lie, but at the point where I forgot that Maple had Frank Thor kind of screwed me off big. So, take a moment there and give me some thoughts here in this video. And I hope you all enjoyed my first battle from the Indigo League of Legends. Like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys later.